I was as soon as I hop in, bro. Okay, who can relate to this? As soon as you hop into a lobby without your friends, just a random GTA lobby or a car lobby or something, and they gonna automatically nick. Grr, grr, grr. Hard R, bro. Hard R. Every single time I hop in an online game, bro. Those, those people don't. Shit that if I it don't matter. Right it's now, just normal for those people. I get What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Rich Lev, aka Just Lev, and welcome back to the Lev Fam Gang. Now today, we got man, not a very happy video today, but we got I Show Speed is getting canceled for this. I just saw this pop up on my feed. I saw some stuff said about it, but I don't know uh, the situation, so we're gonna get into it. Before we get into this video, I need you guys to smash that goddamn like button, boy, so that YouTube can get us out to more people. Also, subscribe if you're new, cause we post every single day. So turn on the post notifications. And follow my Twitch because I'm about to start live streaming. I might live stream tonight, actually. I'm about to start live streaming these reactions and stuff so I can get to know you guys personally. Right before we start, make sure to comment down below what time are you watching this. Let's go. So I show speed is in a lot of trouble. There's been a massive drama unfolding over primarily on Twitter over the last about 24 hours or so now. It even got so bad that it ended up trending in the United States with over 100,000 tweets. Pretty much really? everybody on the timeline, it seems like, is talking about this situation right now. It's just become that huge. And I wanted to make a video kind of covering everything that's happened so far while also throwing a little bit of my personal opinion in on this situation here. So what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And of course, today we're going to be covering the most important drama of all time, the I Show Speed allegations, as I like to call them. So for those of you who don't know, I Show Speed is a 17 year old who has blown up. And I mean, like one of the biggest blow ups I've ever seen Big on YouTube, YouTube gaining millions of subscribers in just months. Becoming a legitimate phenomena on the platform, I Show Speed has used toxicity and these over the top reactions to his chat and anything that happens in his stream as a way to blow up, right? And a yeah. lot of people really enjoy this kind of content. They like seeing the toxicity or the reactions and the screaming and him, you know, slamming on his desk and things like this. He's been somewhat controversial before for different things. Entertaining. I remember the whole Ash Cash situation. That's the one thing you guys can't take away from him. Like, yes, he goes over the top sometimes. I don't agree with some of the stuff he does or says. But you guys can't say this kid is not entertaining, bro. You don't get 7 million subs for nothing. Where he bro. basically asked her if they were the last two people on earth, who was going to stop him. At least He's known for time. saying like off the wall, like ridiculous things and basically trolling people with these over the top reactions. And you know, people really seem to enjoy this kind of content. But recently one of his over the top reactions has been brought back to light and it's being used currently to, well, try to cancel him. So you may disagree that this is cancellation, but Ugh. this is really the only term that I can use to describe it. I mean, people got him banned from all Riot video games and they have what? the head of creators. Uh, gaming creators that is at youtube like talking about they're on the case or whatever they're gonna handle the situation i'm not gonna lie bro i'm not gonna lie this this whole twitter shit is so like bro and it'd be just a whole bunch of motherfuckers just wanting to bring somebody down i'm just gonna i'm just gonna say the facts bro um especially when it comes to black men bro like on god i'm not even trying to pull that race card or anything but i promise you whatever speed would have done or whatever i've heard them say some really crappy things but you guys act like you never said something in your life that you regret or that's stupid or that's sexist, that's racist. And not even you, just normal people, but people that are big and Twitch streamers and stuff. I, bro, I promise you, you look, you look at their months past and years past of what they said and stuff. I promise you, you could dig something up like this or, or worse, probably most likely worse, bro. But I'm telling you, bro, like when you're in the spotlight, as much as speed is, bro, they're going to try to get you for anything, man. I'm just saying. Staff at different places have come Especially forward a young uh, black saying man, that they're going to try and handle this situation. And not even a man yet, he's a kid. Account or whatever, due to the behavior that he's displaying and whatnot. So first, I want to play the clip that has everybody upset. This was all first reported by someone by the name of Jake Lucky. And uh, yeah, here's the clip. And where she is? She's on top of the thing. Ten seconds left. left. Ten seconds. Are you left? <laughs> Fuck, man! Okay, Yo, man. dog, man. Come on, bruh. Man, you gotta hit thoughts, man. Man, shut your stupid ass it's up, it's nigga. Who was you talking to, bruh? Shut your nerd ass up. Bro, you're bro. I'm gonna play this game. Shut up, monkey. Shut up. Shut your bitch ass up. Alright. Alright. You're at the fight. Alright. 
calm down. Damn, bro, shut up, bro. I know how to play this game. I'm not a noob, all right? Okay, God damn. Rage what? What? what, bitch? Bitch? Is a bitch talking to me? Is a female talking to me? Am I yo? No, no, no. Am I tripping? Am I tripping? Oh, how do I tell them? Is a female talking to me right now? Is a fucking female talking to me? Get off the fucking game and do your husband dishes, bitch. Shut up. Fuck you. Fuck is wrong with y'all. Stop talking to me like that, nigga. Fuck is wrong with y'all, dog. I'm not one of these little lame ass Valor nerds, nigga. Fuck wrong with y'all. Now fucking suck. Spike down mid. That was a clear. Fucking nerds on my fucking team. Look like bitch. Like who the fuck is you talking to, bitch? Fuck is wrong with you. Go, go do your life. Last player standing. Fuck out of here. Ass, ass. Y'all are pure ass. Y'all oh, are ass! Y'all are ass! Y'all are ass! Y'all are ass! Alright, so his teammate starts talking, telling him, Oh, bro, you need to hit your shots or whatever. And then he goes on this tirade, and a, a woman in the game starts talking. He goes on this sexist tirade against her, telling her to do the Yeah, that was sexist, for sure. And people have lost their fucking minds over this clip, man. It, it's been completely crazy. Like, honestly, on both sides, right? Like, you got people vehemently defending speed for this, and then you got people who are, like, just trying to cancel him, who think that, yeah. like, his accounts should be banned, you know, that he should shouldn't be doing what he's doing shouldn't be as big as he is and everything keep in mind uh, as far as i understand i show speed this is like a character that he plays right so what he'll do is like he he gives these over the top reactions to entertain people right like he's not being literally that angry in this clip he's just kind of like overreacting in order to like make the chat laugh and, and shit like that right because yeah. like these clips go viral. so Yes, it's a character and everything, but I do disagree. Like I said, I disagree with what Speed does and says sometimes, bro. And in that case, 100% disagree, bro. But um, why was motherfuckers trying to act like... I mean, it's wrong, bro. Like, I'm not trying to take away from it. But why was motherfuckers acting like he needs to get every single thing taken away from him, though? You know why, though? Because it's a trend, bro. I'm telling you guys, the internet, especially Twitter finger-ass niggas, is trends, bro. It is trends. If it's a trend to cancel somebody, they're gonna do it. So and, and there's a whole bunch of sensitive ass motherfuckers on the internet, bro. And that that's just how it's gonna be. And it sucks, man. Um, because I know that bigger streamers and bigger white streamers and whatever, I know they said some shit, bro. I know it. I know it. And I'm not trying to get anybody canceled or whatever. I don't care. But it's just the fact that, you know what I'm saying? Because of how how big that speed is and how big of a light he's in. And he's a young black kid. He's not even a man yet. These motherfuckers want to tear him down, bro. They want to tear him down. I, I wonder why, bro. Twitch has been banning well, I don't know people if left and like, right, bro. On TikTok where people will take like clips know, of his man. reactions to things and they'll like put them all over everywhere. And that's been part of the reason that he's blown and up. Then, so and then right you guys want to pull up the clips like, like speed. Yes, he's toxic and stuff, but every single stream he has to hear racist shit to him. 24-7. Do you guys not see his chat? Do you guys not see the donos? You guys don't see that shit? Y'all don't want to cancel those people, though, because they're normal people. You know what I'm saying? It's normal for them to do that. And yes, he has a bigger platform. He has a bigger light. But they put up clips from months ago. He's obviously grown. And, like, he can learn from mistakes, bro. It was a stupid shit to say. But motherfuckers are acting like he was, like, wanted to destroy somebody's life or something. Like, bro, y'all need to calm down, bro. Y'all need to calm down because y'all niggas, it's just so fucking sensitive, bro. Like, why y'all niggas so sensitive, bro? Like, I just want you guys to answer that. Like, and I'm not, but the thing is, y'all niggas gonna take this and be like, oh, he's defending speed. No, no. That's little kid mindset that you're doing right there. I'm not defending the nigga. I don't agree with the nigga. But I also don't agree with y'all trying to take away his whole source of... Uh, a source of income for him and a whole career for him, bro. At 17 years old, as a young black guy, finally, you know, giving a way for, you know, younger kids to be able to look up and say, I can do that too, bro. Y'all don't understand how hard it is. You know what I'm saying? And that's no race car. That's just facts. Because people Only niggas are gonna say shit is go viral. And this is just kind of like another instance of that, except this time it's pretty negative, right? So... 
I now understand why Valorant queues are so unbelievably toxic. You got one of the most popular streamers on YouTube. I show Bro. speed saying crap like this and getting nothing but praise and laughs. Crap is whack. So before we do you go understand this video, does this guy I want to first okay okay ahead. does this guy understand cod lobbies I'm gonna just stop talking bro all I need to say is cod lobbies old days bro and and Valorant too Valorant has some toxic ass niggas why is this nigga getting blasted bro why is he the only one getting blasted stop it bro and say that this clip is a couple months old at this point right this is not like a, a recent clip that happened yesterday right. this is a clip that Reese. has been brought up from several months ago that everybody is like retroactively getting upset about right yep. no one gave a fuck when this happened nobody That's how Twitter cared works. whatsoever but like a few months nobody after it cared. happened you know jake lucky brings it up and all of a sudden everybody cares about how toxic this guy is for like a year now he's been doing the Who same is that nigga thing, anyways giving the same exact reaction behaving the same way to put it simply and nobody's cared up until now and then now suddenly it's all about how toxic video this nigga streams every single day y'all choose just one random ass day to try to bring this nigga that that's how i know bro it's the trends Yo, game trends. chat, sorry, Sensitive how you ass know niggas this trends, can't bro. stand, and this guy's just too toxic, and he's ruining Valorant and shit like yeah. that. Yeah, I don't <laughs> one know person if this is controversial <laughs> to say or anything, but uh, I've heard so much fucking worse, right? Like, I don't know about I'm you saying. guys, but during my times playing online video games, I have heard some of the most vile, garbage, disgusting shit get said in PlayStation and Xbox. Uh, bro, I was as soon as I hop in, bro. Okay, who can relate to this? As soon as you hop into a lobby without your friends, just a random GTA lobby or a car lobby or something, and they hear you like you talking like something, and they gonna automatically nip, grr, 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 hard R, bro. Hard R. Every single time I hop in an online game, bro. Every single time. But you know what I'm saying? Those Old people don't. Shit that if I it don't matter. Right now, it's just not only for those would people, I bro. get literally canceled, but YouTube would shut my YouTube channel down, right? This kind of trash talking in video games is really nothing new. I mean, this is some shit that's been going on for a minute. I don't know why everyone's acting like this is some sort of like new breaking development, but if we're also I'm being saying, honest, bro. this is tame in comparison to some of the shit you're gonna hear in actual online games. If this yes. is like what's the the literally, like I just said, I get called the hard R all the time, canceled on the internet, dude. Like eighty percent of the people I know who've ever played video games ever basically get are canceled. gonna get canceled man yep. i can't think of like i, I know all y'all niggas would get canceled who've never bro. acted this way in a video game like it's just so common you know what i'm saying and people say oh that's not a justification what he did was completely out of pocket it's not a justification i don't know man i, I just can't force myself to get mad at someone for playing this character i don't know like saying, it bro. just isn't enough to fucking offend me personally like i know there's people out there they didn't grow up playing video games during like the era that i did right like back on mw2 where if you just simply loaded into a lobby with your microphone on, you were getting called the hard R. You were getting I'm called saying, all kinds of What did I just words. say? What did I just say, bro? You y'all y'all think I'm like, bro? What did I just say? I just said that, bro. And he just reiterated. He's probably black. It was a shout out to him. He's, he's most likely black. Cause, bro, every single time, bro, a random lobby with your microphone on, no friends, bro. Hard R. I fucking guarantee you, bro. They were going to fuck your mom. You know, they were going to yeah. come to your house and kill you. I know a lot of people didn't grow up hearing that shit on a daily basis. So, like, I yeah, guess I get sensitive. why some people are a little bit more, like, uppity about it. But I'm just so desensitized to shit like this now. Like, I can't, I can't force myself to get mad. And if that makes people upset at me, then I don't know what to tell you. Hey. I just can't jump on the fucking bandwagon and be like, oh, I hate this guy because That's of what I'm saying, said, bro. It just That's isn't what I'm saying. You hear a little toxic thing and, oh, my God, I hate this guy. I want his career taken. I want everything taken from him, bro. To everything. get me upset. You know, like, I, I, I don't know. I just, I've heard so much up, worse bro. at this point. And at the end of the day, it's a fucking <laughs> character. And I can't force myself to get mad at a, like, three-month-old clip. Now, there's been a lot of split reactions to this entire clip, and a lot of people are actually calling Jake Lucky racist for this entire thing. As you guys can see, I show speed is black, and Jake Lucky is white. There's a lot of people who are saying things like, oh, he only brought this clip up against I show speed because he's black, and he, you know, wants to destroy his career. He can't help but see a 17-year-old black kid succeed. He's trying to destroy his career by bringing up old clips and whatnot to get him canceled. Now, obviously, I don't know what that whole deal is. I don't, I don't know, know if about Jake all Lucky's that, but... really racist, or if he's just doing this 
because I don't know. Maybe he needed some content or maybe yeah. he just now for the first time saw the clip and got mad Does about it. Does he just do that? Something. I don't know, right? But a lot of people think that this is racially motivated in a way. And it seems like a pretty good portion of people are actually on iShow Speed's side in this situation. Personally, I did a Twitter it's poll no over on my it's channel uh, kind of talking about this because I wanted to see like what people on Twitter, at least like my Twitter following thought about this whole thing, what they thought like about, you know, the trash talk, was it taken too far, things like that. And in nearly 3,000 votes, almost 62% of people say that he did not take the trash talking too far in this clip and that what he said, you know, wasn't really that bad to warrant this reaction. And I think yeah. that's because so many of us know that this is just like how online games are. I don't know why everyone's acting as if I show speeds the first person to talk shit. What he's saying, what he's saying is true, but also it doesn't, nobody's trying to, I mean, especially me, I'm not trying to make an excuse for what a nigga say. Like it was sexist. It was bad you shouldn't have said it you gotta watch yourself especially when you have a platform but keep in mind this kid is 17 years old young black man he just he he's been had a sporadic personality bro like you never know what's coming but it's not an excuse you can't say that speed you can't and i'm not backing that at all i'm not behind you on that but i'm also not behind motherfuckers on twitter acting like they never said nothing in their life that could get them canceled and also I'm not with people trying to take his whole career away for this. When bigger streamers than him and white streamers do not get canceled for that kind of stuff, bro. I promise you, bro. I promise you. I promise you these streamers and stuff that you guys know, they've said some shit, bro. I promise you, bro video game personally i don't need fucking protected from a twitch clip you know what i mean people I just, don't I just people don't, don't like to see I don't young need black somebody to see fucking argue general. on my behalf that this was way too harsh That's maybe it's because i'm not a woman maybe it just didn't strike a nerve deep enough with me but I don't know, man. I just can't force myself to get offended. And I, I know that's going to upset people. Y'all are going to dislike this fucking video or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Dislike, dislike my video, video too. if I you want care. to, I guess. But it just, it doesn't work on me, man. Like, I'm just not going to yeah. sit here and fucking force myself to get mad about something I'm not mad about. But after this yep. started going viral, uh, it turns out that some people from companies started getting involved in this entire thing. And uh, it looks like iShow Speed might really face some consequences for this. So this is a huge yikes. And we do not want players like this in our community at all. I want to head and perma banned this player from valorant as well as all other riot games bro. thanks for raising this please keep raising stuff like this all because it's just so twitter bro Val safer escalating this Shut not only bro. do rioters escalate issues to uh for, for player support for them to review but we've also got a team dedicated to tackling <laughs> yeah. toxicity it's a constant battle i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie if you go, if you go if you're gonna make speed not ever play the game like that again you're gonna have to take a lot of niggas off that game bro i'm telling you you gonna have to you gonna have to investigate all everybody playing, bro. I'm, bro. Cause that shit. Learning and will always. You think people don't say worse shit like bro. space? So it appears that I show speed is permanently banned from all Riot Games products, meaning he can't play Valorant on his account anymore. I don't know if it's like an IP ban or anything like that. If it's just an account ban, like that's super easy to just get around. You know what I mean? But it appears that the consequences really did start to roll in, and that actually isn't even the end of the entire thing. Because uh, the global head of gaming creators at YouTube actually also ended up responding to this saying, quote, on it. So I don't know, is Bro, I he going to get banned from what? YouTube now? I have no idea. Nah, I mean, see, he's been one of the most popular creators in that's terms what they of want streaming to happen. on the platform. So I don't know if this is going to be the moment where they kick him off the platform or if they're going to, like, give him a community guidelines violation or something like that. I really don't know. But you got people from all these different companies and stuff getting involved to, like, do something about iShow Speed here, right? Like, get his account suspended. And I Honestly, I don't know, man. I don't think that he deserves permanently kicked off a of YouTube or something That's like what I'm that saying. over this. First off, we're talking about a 17-year-old. You know what I mean? This He's not even a fucking adult. They're literally canceling saying, someone who's underage, right? Everyone makes fucking mistakes, right? Like, when you're 17 years old, you say shit that you shouldn't say, bro. Like, it happens. And you got people like, oh, well, I'm 17 and I've never said anything like this in an online game. Congrats. You're the mo fucking moral beacon of support right here, right? You're the fucking <laughs> god, right? Yeah. God bless Congratulations. you for not cussing at people and being a little little too mean in fucking video game chats right I, I don't know what to say you want a cookie like you want me to reward you like <laughs> you there's so a cookie many people using this to just like grandstand and pretend they're such a good fucking person exactly right? it's kind of hey, that's what i'm trying to say everybody's acting like they god they god's child bro 
Like, y'all need to go. When you think about it, it's literally just shit talking in a video game. And you got people out here acting like they're the fucking perfect person. Everybody's saints now. Of, like moral beacon. Everybody's Sitting saints. on their fucking high horse because they don't talk shit in video games. It's like, <laughs> congratulations, bro. I, I don't know what you want. But the backlash Thanks. to this entire thing, though, did actually end up uh, leading iShowSpeed to recording and uploading an apology, which currently has a million and a half views on Twitter. What's good, um, everybody? Um, It's a clip. You know, that I seen, you know, that's going crazy right now. Uh, me between the altercation with uh, a girl and I was playing Valorant. You know what I'm saying? And I want to say some, you know, like a few things uh, from that uh, situation. You know what I'm saying? But that day, um, you know, I wasn't having a good day. You know, I was getting a lot of racist takes to speech, donations. A lot of people, you know, talking about my dead aunt that's in the grave right now. But look, I don't want to make that no excuse. I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not trying to justify. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, like that day, I just don't bash on people for no reason. That's what I, that's where I'm coming from from that, you know, you statement though, I just Steve, said. But you know, it's good that you're I'm, apologizing. I'm completely wrong. You know what I'm saying? I was yeah. completely wrong in that situation right there. I can't say anything to justify that situation right there. But that clip is from months ago, and I changed from that and I grew. You know what I'm saying? I'm very. I'm. I don't want to. I'm young. You know what I'm saying? I'm very young. I. I for every situation I grow. You know, and I change, you know, and I got to become a better person. Yep. That is not me no more. That is not me. And I grow from that situation. That's come from the bottom of my heart. I doubt it. That is not me. You know, and hopefully I can, you know, really, you know, see like the genuine in me. You know what I'm saying? I apologize from that girl. I apologize. If, if that girl was to me up and say anything, you know, I would love to hear her out. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm, I apologize. That's not me. That clip is from months ago. I'm sorry, man. Peace out. Yeah. So with this hey, apology, apologize, I don't know man. if this is going to mean that he doesn't get banned or do. if this is going to protect him. It doesn't seem like it protected him in any way from like getting banned from Valorant, which I don't think he really cares too much about. Yeah, but then people the started about uploading Valorant, uh, some tweets <laughs> On the that Jake Lucky, who was the person who, of course, uploaded this clip in the first place, uh, had made over the last like two years or so. And they started, you know, highlighting something pretty ironic. Cod trash talk over everything. There ain't much better than Call of Duty trash talk. There's uh, already more trash talk than same guy? Valorant and CSGO and I kind of dig that. So people are saying like, oh, Jake Lucky's oh, all about wow. shit talking and, and trash talking in video games See? until it's bro. something he doesn't like, right? Or it's somebody he doesn't like. He supports yeah. trash talking bro, he's, in video he, Bro, when, when he says trash talk, you know he means the extreme shit, bro. Like, stop, like, bro. And then, and then like, when... <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, it's all for clout, bro. It's all for clout. Clout's a damn demon, Until it's bro. somebody that he can cancel for content or yep. whatever, and then all of a yep. sudden he switches over. That's kind of the mentality people have after these tweets have Hypocrites, aired and bro. everything. And as far as I know, Jake Lucky has not addressed these tweets or the situation really again after this, except for responding to I Show Speed's apology with the following. You're young, but with such a large audience, you carry a lot of influence, man, to a lot of impressionable people. Thanks for the further explanation on the situation. Now, honestly, bro. I think this is kind of cringe. Like, he's talking yeah. to him, like, I don't know, man. He's talking to him like he's like his fucking boss or something, bro. That's like, what I'm thanks saying. Thanks for the further explanation on the situation. Like, you don't ain't his fucking boss, again. nigga. It just, I don't know, it comes off, the whole situation really comes off cringy to me. Like, there's so many people who weren't affected by this situation at all, right? It's a month old clip of him talking shit in video games. Is he saying some crazy shit absolutely I'm yeah not it's gonna crazy say what he's saying is fucking innocent it's crazy and it's cool to say but at the end of the day it's fucking trash talk in a video game and you have people using this situation to try and act like there's some sort of fucking moral beacon of like wisdom or something right in this situation just a, trying to oh, take away I a whole would never career. talk shit in a valorant game chat my lady i would never tell you to go wash dishes like it just <laughs> i don't know it comes off as cringe to me man it's just like people are so upset okay. over some shit they shouldn't be so upset over at the end of the day i feel yeah. like this is just the internet getting mad at something that's not that big of a deal again right like this is the fucking issue of the day that twitter's mad about in three days everyone's gonna go right back to watching i show speed like exactly happened before exactly in a couple more days nobody's gonna give a shit nobody's gonna give a shit right now on twitter oh the twitter fingers they booming got a million views got millions millions coming there they trying to get their clout speaking on it and stuff in a couple days your clout gonna be gone bro and it's all gonna go to speed because you know what he's gonna do he's gonna keep streaming He's going to keep being him and he's going to grow and learn. The fuck? This whole like, situation is going to be blown get off over. another that nigga's not business, bro. Like, I don't understand. Or something crazy. I don't under, I don't understand why people want to be involved in someone else's life so bad, bro. To like try to hate on somebody or some shit, bro. Like he's literally a young black kid just trying to make it for himself and just entertaining people every day. He streams every single day.
Like, he loved this shit. You could tell he's genuinely in love with this shit. Like, come on, Crazy bro. like that. I really don't think it was that deep, man. Leave I mean, alone, I've heard bro. way worse in video game chats. I don't Did know. Maybe I'm just in a some way? old head at this point. But I get we live in different times. Ain't nobody taking his shit whole account shit say now shit, that you could Hell say no. back then and get away with. I understand that. But at the end of the day, I just, I refuse to believe that so many people are this mad over this, bro. I just, I, I don't fucking saying. believe Why are you so are this mad? It's not even your situation. The fucking internet, bro. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Hey, if you guys, if you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to leave a like on his video also mine this was a really good video i was waiting for something like this but yeah man um yeah this whole situation is it's is kind of dumb to me bro i'm not gonna lie it's um you know people are such hypocrites and they think that they're so up here and everybody's down here man and when especially when it comes to a young black creator man i, I know i keep saying that but i don't give a fuck like it's true bro you can't escape that he's a young black creator that that blew up and he's one of the gonna be one of the biggest youtubers that ever exists bro and they take a clip from some months ago put it on twitter boom and that's all it takes to to make you know they make all these companies think they need to do shit because of all these twitter finger ass niggas bro but hey um I'm, I'm praying for speed man i hope that he can you know make a comeback from this um like i said i don't agree with what he said those stupid as fuck but hey like he said, it's trash talk, but you got to watch what you say, Speed. That's the one thing I'll say to him. You got to watch what you say, man. And I'm pretty sure he knows that. This clip was months ago. But, um, yeah, man. All prayers to Speed and prayers to you bitch-ass niggas that want to get in people's business all the time and be sensitive. Go get, it. Go get a job, my nigga. Get some bitches. <laughs>